I hate this one. I don't have like a lesson plan written out. Welcome to Lessons with Deanne over math. And I totally just had to start over because I forgot like half of the parts I was going to talk about. Okay, we're doing <laughs> present value formula. And what you do for this one, what this is used for, let's start with that because this is where my brain fart started is I started explaining how to do stuff and I didn't tell you anything else and then I forgot letters. But you weren't there for that one, so nah, here we go. Your present value formula is going to tell you how much money you need to invest. And you're going to get that in your P. And that'll be your equal. So you're, you don't know this. This number doesn't exist yet. Right? Okay. So say I want a car. Because I don't have one. So I really want a car because cars are cool and they get me places and all that fun stuff. So this is where this formula comes into. Your formula is P equals A over 1 plus I to the N. And to get into the little parts, if you weren't in the last video, if you were, I and N are the same. If you weren't, I is the interest rate over the number of compounds per year. If you really don't know what number of compounds are, I'll tell you that in a second because I'm just going to put the end down. Okay, N is the number of years, years, okay, whatever, times the number of compounds. So, the, the compound is, they'll tell you that if I were to like, in this scenario right here with the car, if I were to go to a bank and be like, blah, 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 or go to the dealership or something like that. No, it wouldn't be at the dealership. It would be at the bank. Because I'm trying to get a car and I'm, I tell them, I need this much money in this much time. They would tell me, well, this is what our bank does, blah, 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 blah. You need to invest this much money to get this with our interest. So, compounds is what they would tell you. They would say it's either compound quarterly, which would be four, compounded yearly, which is one, compounded monthly, which would be 12, compounded semi-annually, which would be two, and compounded daily, which would be 365. And this would be the bottom of your fraction up here, and the number you multiply the number of years by. If you can't remember your I and you can't remember your N, always remember your I is your interest rate divided by something, if you know this number, because they share a common number, and then your N is the number of years multiplied. Just, that's pretty simple. If you can't remember that, good luck. Okay, your A, right here, that's the number that you're trying to get to. So if my car is $17,000, that's my A. It's the number of, it's, it's how much money I want, I need by this amount of time. Okay. And when I'm talking about number of years, we're talking about like, say I want my car in three years. Three would go right there. Okay. So how I would set up this formula to find out how much money that I need to invest right now to get my car in three years is I would go like this. 17,000 over, oh, I don't have an interest rate. Let me just pick one. I'll just do, um, I'll do 1.5, okay? So I'll have $17,000 for my car. And we'll do one, oh, that's a plus sign. One plus, what did I say, 1.5? 1.5%, which you would change to a decimal. So you move the decimal place over two, which would be what? One, two, so it's point zero one five. Awesome. And then I guess compounded I don't know, we'll just do four. That sounds cool. Okay. Compounded quarterly. And the N is the number of years. So I want to buy my car in three years times the number of compounds, which is four, and that's twelve. I think. If I'm because I'm kinda just going off Yeah, okay. It is. 
So you just type this in. And what I do is I do the bottom part of the fraction first because this is a little fraction thing, right? Or an old fraction baby thing. So I do this part first. So in my calculator, I'm going to put 1 plus 0 0.015 over 4. And those are both in parentheses. And then I do caret key 12. And you put it in exactly like that. Nothing else. Okay? So parentheses. Well, yeah, you need the parentheses in mine because it makes it look better. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, carrot key, 12. And that gives me 1.04593825. Okay? And I don't need to write that down because this is what I do. With these calculators, there's a way to put your answer in. And if you do second key and then you do the negative symbol, which is answer. So what you do is you would take your top part of your formula, right? So you have 1,700, or 17,000, my bad, and you would go divided by, then you do second key, second key, and then negative sign, which put your answer in from the previous one. So 17,000 divided by second key answer. And it'll show up on your screen like that. You see that? Can't tell if it's blurry. I think it's blurry. Whatever. You do second key, which is right there. Negative. And up on your screen, it'll say A-N-S, which means answer. And you divide that. And so for me to get my car in three years, I would have to invest $16,253.33. Okay? Now, rule of rounding... Because I can't go on and like be like, and 32509 cents. Because we don't have that in our sensual, awesome stuff. If it's five or more, you round up. If it's four or less, you round down. My teachers were really bad at explaining that to us. I don't know why it's so hard to explain that to children. Okay? So let's do some actual problems from my workbook thing that I'm not making up. That way it's not so, well, you'll still get big numbers. Okay. How much money should be invested into an account that earns 3.01 interest compounded quarterly in order to have $4,300 in six years? So your formula is P equals... I usually just leave that off. You have A, which is, in this case, 4,300 divided by, provided by, one plus, <laughs> okay, your interest, which is 3.01, which is going to be 0 0.0301 divided by four, in this case, because it's compounded quarterly. And then how many years? Six years. So it's going to be six times four. And that's 24. Okay. So it is. Yeah. And that didn't happen. Okay. So in my calculator, we're going to put in this first. Because I think you can do it all together. I just don't like doing that. Because it comes out like 4,300 divided by double parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.0301 over 4 close parenthesis caret key 24 close parenthesis and you would get the same answer if you like doing that go for it I like the way I do it but I just like having things written out so I know that I haven't missed a step or haven't missed anything okay so open parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.0301 over 4, carrot key 24. Okay, and then you get 1.19 something, etc. Then you put 4300 in your calculator divided by second key answer, second well, second key negative sign. 
and that puts ANS on your calculator screen. Then you do enter. And so to get $4,300 in um, how many years? Six. Six years, you need to deposit $3,591.94. And on your calculator, it'll be like 0.9353, etc. Now, also, you could take that answer and instead of, I guess you could round it because it would be somewhere around here and you don't have to exactly do it like I do unless your teacher tells you to exactly have an exact answer then put an exact answer otherwise you're gonna get in trouble okay so um we're coming up around 12 minutes anyways um whoa. okay so we'll do the next problem and we'll be done with this one you want to retire because you're old and feeble and you have a hunchback and a walker. Yeah, that's you. Okay. Can you see that? I don't think so. Zoom in. Zoom. Okay. So you want to retire because you're old in 40 years. Oh, well, you're not that old. You're happy and awesome. You're probably, like, in your 30s, right? And you probably don't realize how close it is to be 70. Anyway, so you want to retire in 40 years with a million dollars? Yeah, that is a million dollars. Okay. Because you're awesome like that, and you want to be a millionaire. Okay? So, in 40 years, how much money would you have to invest... Uh, today, blah, 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 at 4% interest compounded monthly in order to have a million dollars in 40 years, okay? Now, um, I think in math problems, it's a little bit like spectacle because I'm pretty sure the interest rate changed at actual bank banks and stuff. It changes with like inflation and stuff like that and how everything works in the society. This is just hypothetical. Don't apply this to real life, I guess. Apply this to your math problems. I mean, if it actually works like that, then cool. If it doesn't, I don't know because I haven't done this yet. Okay. So, your formula, you know your formula, A over all that junk, right? Okay, so I want you to pause it and fill it out with the information you know. You have 40 years, you have a million dollars, blah, with all those zeros, whatever. I think it's just six. Did I put six? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> and you have 4% interest, and it's compounded monthly. Monthly. Or 12. Okay? You see that? Okay. So, pause the video, and I want you to work this out. Okay, so, now that you're back, what up? Here we go. So, we have a million dollars on the top. One, two, three. Over. Open parenthesis. One plus what? Your interest rate, which is going to be point zero four. I'm tired. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Point zero four over twelve. Carrot key. And then forty years times twelve. What's that? That's four hundred and eighty. Okay. You can either do it this way, like with I guess you want me to write that out? I'm gonna write that out. To get it in your calculator in one jump, it would be A divided by, double parenthesis, 1 plus I, carrot key, N, close parenthesis. That's not that bad, actually. We'll just do it that way, because I'm getting tired. 1, 2, 3, divided by, double parenthesis, plus point zero four over 12. Close parenthesis, 
carat key, 480, close parenthesis. And you should get $202,434.43. Now what would be even cooler is like doing a problem to find out how much money you should, in you should invest in one year to get that much money. <laughs> Or in like two years, and then you can start doing it. So say you were like two years ahead of time. So say you were like 27 or something, right? Or maybe three years ahead of time. That way you have some time to invest some money. So you do this formula to figure out what that is, and then you get that in your bank account, and you're good. Okay, that's it. Whoa, we're done. Okay, see you next video.